Okay, we've all heard about driverless cars, but how does the idea of driverless trucks thundering down the highway grab you? And just to add to that somewhat worrying image, they could be in convoys of up to four vehicles with all of them playing high-tech follow me leader with the truck up front. Uh, the only thing linking these convoys would be electronic technology that would allow them to drive within a very short distance between them, as little as two metres, that's about seven feet. So how does all this work? Well, there are numerous companies developing this technology, like for instance Pelotron in the US and Daimler in Germany. Pelotron has developed a system using vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications and radar-based active braking systems combined with vehicle control algorithms. These link pairs of heavy trucks. The safety systems are always active, and when the trucks are out on the open road, they can form close formation convoys, or platoons as they are called these days. The system controls braking, acceleration, and is similar to adaptive cruise control. Drivers retain steering control, and a real-time video link lets the rear driver see the road ahead of the platoon. Also, the front truck communicates directly with the rear truck, conveying information um, including braking, vehicle speed and engine torque. All the trucks are checked into a central control unit. Now, some driverless truck systems will allow more than just two vehicles, with four being a tested number, whereby the lead truck is being controlled by a human, but data from that truck is electronically transmitted and controls the following trucks. In those trucks, there are drivers but they pretty much sit there and just intervene if they need to. Daimler's driverless truck development has focused on a single truck, which does have a driver, but when that truck goes into auto control, he just sits there admiring the countryside, playing with his iPhone. This truck can accelerate up to 85 kilometers an hour, that's about 55 miles per hour, and Daimler expects to be able to mass produce the vehicle by 2025. The Daimler driverless truck is able to perform routine moves on the road such as staying in lane, accelerating and slowing down to adjust to traffic conditions. Through its onboard communication system, the truck's computer can be alerted to traffic jams or other incidents on the road ahead and adjusts its speed accordingly. The technology isn't only changing the vehicles, but also the way highways and services along the road are designed. But you have to ask, why do we need driverless trucks? The answer, of course, lies with fuel costs. Here in Europe, there are around 65 million heavy goods vehicles in circulation, and in the US, it is estimated there are 15.5 million trucks in operation. The US company, Pelotron, reckons that platooning technology saves 10% fuel cost for the rear truck and 4.5% for the lead truck. And Fuel costs in the US now account for 40% of operating costs for truck fleets, so there is considerable money to be saved. But surprisingly, the biggest obstacle to all this isn't technical, but a lack of laws to regulate driverless traffic and determine who is liable in the event of accidents. Governments here in Europe are working on these issues, but it still takes years before there is a clear regulative framework for driverless vehicles. And also here in Europe, driverless truck manufacturers will also have to ensure that their vehicles will be able to communicate with infrastructures and other vehicles when they cross borders. There's no point in having a driverless truck working well in France and then it crosses into Spain and fails to function. And finally, what about the, the human reaction to convoys of automated trucks? Are they a look into the future or an accident waiting to happen? Let me know your views at this email address and thanks for viewing.